see how light adjusts. Light's sticking with it though. It's always really, really scary. Something that we saw earlier is how good. Oh, are they? This is it? Oh yeah, we're going. That's a Nair that mashed in there. 14% for Fox, or for, uh, oh God, is that a stock? It, oh, up smash, okay, I like it. Still, it, and that's the thing with oh Scott. Look God. at that grab. It gets the grab, that's dead. Oh, never mind, good DI from Light, but you're not living another one of those. The thing that's crazy is like Scott, he doesn't need to get the zero deaths off grabs. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's optimal, but he's really good at put, putting people in the air and tracing them with a Ouija, which is really impressive. Yeah, and one of the good things, and that right there, Luigi Cyclone is so good at stopping Light from pushing advantage because it has that invincibility. It makes Light stop for a second. Right now, he's not doing any of that, though. He's keeping the pressure up. <laughs> Luigi's, ouch! <laughs> it's one of my favorites. It's so It always catches me off guard. Here comes Scott, though. Putting his way back in with the green missile, able to recover here. That's the big thing is that Fox really has to commit heavy off stage to try to contest Luigi like that. Yeah. Then his upbeat takes so long to activate that Luigi can set up a lead trap on the other side if Fox isn't successful. It's a big gamble to go off stage in this matchup. Yeah, and then again, you see right there too that platform pressure that Light was trying to establish is met by a Luigi Cyclone Ooh. into a parry. Scott is like recognizing the aggressive Nairs at a disadvantage every single time and getting and preventing Light from getting away with it. In the air to air, you can see how good it is for Luigi. I mean, the. Oh! <laughs> Footstool, though. Tricky, tricky stuff from Light. Exactly what he needed. I mean, we saw him do it in the number set. Same thing, game one. Stealing away stocks when he doesn't deserve them. But there he is. Scott says that it's all good. You can take that one. I got one more, and that's all I'll need. Coming down to the last stock already. Only a minute and a half off uh -oh. the clock. Oh, God. Uh -oh. We've seen this once. Uh-oh. Oh, he messed it up. That would have been the game right there, but he ends up whiffing, and nice. now Light baits out. Well, he actually gets around the Luigi Cyclone more so than the bait. But Look how good that was, too. He went for the double full hop. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I'm not dealing with that. I 100% know you're going to tornado and that you can move in that move, so I'm just going to yeah. wait. Fast follower like Fox, you can keep up with it. Uh oh. Now he's got to deal with the ledge shot. Those downsets are going to force him low. He's got to deal with a potential down here again. These downsets oh are putting him so, so much good. work. Well, he accidentally snapped ledge, but it doesn't matter. He gets the up smash, anyways. That, I like, I definitely thought that Scott was about to give the game up after he missed uh, the down air attempt on the Firefox. Still covered him because he knew he was going to get aggressive from the ledge there. Crazy stuff from Scott, because, and you got to think too, that's a frustrating L for Light to take because he got that amazing footstool, still yeah. couldn't close out the game. So it's like, shit, I got to take three stocks in another game with that, probably without getting a footstool, honestly. Like, the chances of that happening again are pretty low. Yeah. I don't know, actually, it is Luigi, so it, it is possible, but I think Scott's going to be ready for it, but we'll see. See what happens. Scott definitely feeling confident. Light locked in too, though. Sleeves are still down, though. I gotta say, sleeves are yeah, still down. Yeah, some, he hasn't pulled them up. It's a little cold. It's a little cold. It's like just slightly cold. We'll see. We'll see. Not, not too crazy, but they definitely get the AC on it here. Nippy, you know. Luigi versus Fox. It's gonna be the same thing. It is, in fact, not brick yet. But oh, there's the sleeves. That's one, and that's two. It is time to go sleeve on mode. We got game number two here, and we're gonna be seeing the switch over to small battlefield. Yeah. One of the things that I think uh, Scott has done incredibly well too is a lot of people let Light attack very aggressively from ledge for free all the time. That up smash was such a good check to that down air. And he also challenges his rising forwarders a lot too. So mm. let's see if Scott can replicate that as he's currently getting his ass beat <laughs> yeah. off the start. I love that back air too that Light had to kind of finish that combo off because it mm. forced a tech chase situation. Instead of put, letting Luigi stay in the air, so that he can nair or down B, you have to tech. And as every character in the game, it doesn't matter how good your out of shield or in air options yeah. are. If you're on the platform, you're on the platform. Fox can't kill. Mm. That man had the up smash, and he had the back air, still not killing just yet. And this is very scary because Luigi with one grab, even this game's right back up. So nice. I oh, like that. Good parry. It, it's really cool because Scott knows, everyone knows in the venue. Uh, well, most people in the venue know, uh, you know, and not everyone might know, but <laughs> Luigi's going to look for grabbing that situation. So Scott swinging the air twice is a really, really good mix up, yep. even though it didn't work. I still like it. Yeah, I agree. Like, just kind of change, like, change the pace, like, challenge him a little bit. But now, set straight to 78%, like, we're, so far we're seeing Light off to a very hot start in, in one of those situations where it's almost his game to lose. But because of how volatile this matchup is, I still don't feel comfortable with, like, a full, like, lead the way he is. Granted, he's really outplaying Scott right now, but he yeah. needs to keep this up. Do not let Scott find one big opening. That's kind of the crazy thing about Smash in general and Ultimate, for sure. Just because you outplay your opponent doesn't mean you get the W. And what does that even really mean? You know, like, it's a whole different meta conversation because Scott is down two stocks, but he can easily make that up for sure. Now play, yep, get grabbed, dead. Yep, down to down B on the platform, that's gonna kill every time. One good throw from Scott. You can see uh, like Light just kind of like taking a deep breath over there. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Light actually platform cam a, a little bit. Because, yeah, there you go, that's B. Ooh, I love 41% that. that takes him uh, most likely out of windows where he's gonna try and go for the combos. Well, I love how Light finished it off combos with up smash early on too. You know, mm. the DRs are gonna be fresh by the time he's ready to True. To, uh, to kill with it, you know? Uh-oh, grab though by Scott, let's see here. 
Okay, trying to follow him to the other platform, tracing the DI the wrong way, but Scott still in a decent position here. Got 65, that's pretty solid for, if he gets an upbeat, it's gonna kill. Yeah, so if he gets an up to upbeat, I mean, actually he should still be within range now. Tries to find a high recovery on a light with the with the Luigi Cyclone. Doesn't get it. Tries to go for a raw upbeat nice. on a shield. That's a free punish. Does not get the kill though. Yeah, good punish by light. Not enough juice on that up smash though. Very close. Scott got to fight his way out of the corner. This is where people have been really destroying Luigi for sure. It's all the yeah. way in the corner, trying to get him off the ledge. He does kind of have a few options, obviously. You got to respect Tornado up there. Get him all, in all the conventional ones. Oh, no. That's a big down smash. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I did not Hold think that was going to be unpunishable. Like, I thought he was dead easy there. And now he's at throw windows. Wait a minute. To wait a minute. To be an even game. Or a pos possible spike. Hold stage. up. Oh, hold has. up. Uh -oh. oh, God. What? Up B. <laughs> that was... Oh, my God. He deserved that W. Yo, look at Light. He's literally laughing. He's like, bruh, you almost cooked my dude, ass. Like, dude, hold on. <laughs> I got to give Scott all the props in the world for that mentality. He's laughing it off, too. Yeah. That is amazing. You know, that can easily fluster a player or something like that. But Scott, he's locked in. He's kind of laughing off a little bit, too. Got to give him a lot of props for that. Really, really dude. good stuff. Great mental from both of them. Yeah, look at Light. He's like, <laughs> well, excuse bruh, me, bruh, princess. Excuse, excuse me, princess. <laughs> like, that was disgusting. Yeah. Uh, it, this is why Scott's so scary. His capitalization on hit, again, we talk about reward on hit all night, right? But Luigi players have to know different routes. It's not always about the zero to death. You have to maximize your hits when you get them because your neutral is mediocre. Yeah. But against someone like Fox, who has fast falls and free combos, oh, you got to capitalize every time. I cannot believe he missed that upbeat. They're both laughing, dude. It's crazy. I can't believe that. I mean, it's just like, it's mutual respect, honestly. And it's just like, oh my God, like that easily could have been the death of either uh -huh. of us. So it's just crazy. So that was the game right there. And honestly, potentially the set. Got to give, again, like so many props to, to Scott for kind of laughing and have a good mentality about it. Because he's still, I mean, he, he's he's definitely very chill and relaxed right now. I, I can't give him enough props because that is certainly not the way you want a game to end for sure. Yeah. As we get into 1-1 one, one piece here and lose this finals, we're going to run it right back to small battlefield. You were talking earlier about how Dill is a pretty like big fan of the stage. This is also somewhere we've seen Scott go. That was, okay, four nairs in a row. He's they moving, all hit. He's moving, yeah. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But he's also been a big fan of coming to the stage. Five nairs. Keep it going. Yeah, good air dodge. Forcing him to go to the ledge, too. There's that forward air again. Big punish. No, okay, sliding up the yep. ledge. Trick Luigi's are so tricky like he's, that, dude. The Scott Scott does that all the time. You have to be aware of the fact that he's going to fade off. And then because you touch the ground, you get reset of, of ledge invincibility. So it's not like you have to worry about a re-grab. Yeah. Pressure from Light. I mean, we've seen this a million times, though. Light off to a great start with the lead. Scott hits him once or twice, and he's right back into it. I like the attempt at that down air too, because if he gets the spike nice. in the box, yeah, that was a good punish from Light. He's recognizing where these Luigi Cyclones are starting to come in. Yeah, and sliding off the edge is so good, but he's Light and he's Fox, so he can just move so fast and cover you on the ground either yeah. side, you know? I mean, like, it, it's so crazy, because the, the way this matchup has been going so far, nobody has been, like, overly dominant, because even when Light gets a massive lead like this, I, it, we saw he almost lost that last game. Yeah. So, like... You, you have to play he, so perfectly. He honestly kind of did lose that. You know, not, obviously not on paper, but like, damn. Yeah, we, <laughs> like, we all know, in a show. different timeline, Fox, uh, Scott is up two games. Down, down throw, throw up B. B. Good DI uh, to the right-hand side. You have to make sure that you check which side you're on uh, for where you're DIing that. Yeah, it's like Rob's up there. Yep. That one didn't matter, yeah, though. He's on the left-hand sure. side, but he's already at 129. Well... Two stocks apiece, the rubber game. Game three, one, one between these two competitors after an electric game two. Truly, truly last oh, hit. that's a big pivot grab. I can't. Okay, never mind. I like. I like that too. Uh oh, hold on. On the platform, trying to knock him down a little bit more. Karate chop, buzz light your karate chop action. Just a forward air over and over. Yeah, remember all those nairs at the start? Uh -oh. Scott is checking him on these air-to-airs with these fairs over and over again. He actually ended up lapping, like, he ended up taking the percent lead now after all that. It, dude, and that's the power of Luigi right there is because you are thinking all the time you need to respect grab all mm -hmm. the time, all the time. So Scott starts going to the air, throwing out good hitboxes, quick ones, especially the fair, working out so well um, because he's hitting these grabs on light mm -hmm. again. He can't get the big, big conversions that he's used to, but he's still hitting the grabs, which is really important. Yeah. Now Light just trying to like win a ledge trap here. Oh, he was looking for the upper. He had the read too, but the immediate Luigi Cyclone. Oh, good fade back to ledge as well. That back is not gonna kill, but if he does he maybe go off stage here? Yeah, he Oh ah! so smart! He's alive! He's alive! Woo! 
The back air finally gets the kill. Bruh, these two are throwing hands as This is so fun to watch. It's like Frankenstein, man. It's alive, it's alive. They're both still living. The stocks on the board for light. Only one left for Scott. 26 at the ledge. We've seen Scott here so many times, man. It's just so tough for him to get out of this position. But that's really big credit. I know, the, the, the ankles, the movement, The fadeaways, the dip backs. Go, neutral B here. Scott lined up. Luigi Cyclone should get it. There it is. Now, this is very much in Scott's favor at this percent window. He's at zero. He Light needs to put damage on the board, so his combos don't work the same way they would normally. So he's going to platform camp him. There he is. There's 40. If yeah. he gets about another 20, there you go. So now the combos are going to be a little bit different. But I, we've seen Scott kill off the funky combos all the time, That is though. true. And you see that Light is sending this message of, I'm going to jump, and if you come at me, I'm going to jump off of you or jump away from you, and then I'm going to mix in Nairs, too. 104% on Scott already. He's going to slide up the ledge there. Oh, he kept his jump, too. I like that mix-up from Scott. thought he was just going to go to the ledge, but he's doing whatever he can to avoid that situation. He's been so good. Oh, Nair my God. Nice, though. Yep. That was so scary for Light to keep doing that, because if you whiff the incorrect spacing, that's off be out of shield if he gets about another 10% on you. So you have to be so careful when you're swinging at Luigi's shield like that. But Light is so confident in his pressure. Like, look at, look at all these situations. If he gets one trade out of one of these attempts at Nair's, like maybe a fair or a Nair out of shield, you keep doing that, that's up be out of shield for free for Luigi. Yeah. So you have to space that perfectly, and you need to scare the shit out of them so they don't actually try to challenge you. Right now, Light currently up two to one. Scott deep breathing. Light pulling up the sleeves has, again, <laughs> I can't. Moving. He's moving, dude. Yo, the best movement. Mm -hmm. Nair's here coming out from Light. I mean, that's just what you're going to see. Up airs now. Great positioning. Light is moving around these defensive options so well because when he doesn't, Scott finds these openings and gets 62% on them after one hit. Up airs too, though. These guys are swinging at each other here. This game four is electric again. Ajax, this is crazy stuff that we're seeing. Here it's, we go. It's it's beautiful chaos, has. Like, yeah. just watching the way that these two, they're both so explosive. Oh, miss, wishes to grab. If With that platform going away, Fox was absolutely dead there after, like, a pummel with the 64%. So... Light got away with a very bad spot there. Mm -hmm. Pressure again from Light. Oh, he went for the forward air. I thought he'd go for an up smash, but waiting for something here. 150. Just going to keep the pressure on at the ledge. Scott, though, with the platform, trying to create some space. A couple projectiles, plungers, and fireballs coming out. Dash attack, too. Creates the way for himself, AJ. Yeah, Might be able to take the stop. Well, how if, get if, away with that? What yeah, if Scott recognized that, he was dead. But yeah, now you're at up smash windows. Speaking of. That's a huge thing in this matchup is that if Light is ready for the Cyclones, he can get those up smash punishes that he really, really needs. Yeah. Scott's good at moving with it and, and mixing people up, but it still is Light on Fox, which is just so fast. Yeah, exactly. Like, as amazing as that option is, oh, good tech. Does he get by the down tilt? That's what he's been getting hit by. Oh, big damage. Uh, the conversion ratios of what he got. You, yeah, hold shield. This is an up smash out of shield window for, for Scott. Up air, nice. Look at that, contesting Luigi in the air. It, you really got to thread the needle as Fox. It, Luigi just says kind of better hitboxes in the air than you do. Yeah. In the air, down air, you got to watch out and respect all this. But Light able to weave in up airs. It's his key win condition, AJ. Yeah. He's going to keep hitting them. Light is not playing scared on shield against Scott anymore. Like, that's something I've noticed pretty heavy in this set. Before, he Oh, the oh. win box. Oh, that's actually an amazing fadeaway, because if he challenges that, that stock's gone. But he ended up getting the wake up up smash, and now he's three stocks up. Throw, here comes Light. That's dead. Yeah. Easily good decision there by Scott. Going with the down B. Get off me option. A classic for Luigi, and he needs it. Big fact. Was he just really raining with 47 foot? Was he, why are you IRL streaming out here in the middle of bracket? He's got to play next, but right now we're looking at, oh, draw up bears. We talked about before how when he's not, he recognizes that light just keeps jumping, so he tries to avoid the grabs. He's been meeting him a lot more with these up bears. But has so far. Hold on. Oh, wait. Never mind. I might be speaking too soon. But things are looking pretty grim as we see the up smash. Not going to kill just yet. Very close up here. Light just opting the ledge trap. He's been so good here all day. <laughs> oh, there's the ankles, bro. The ankles. So clean from Light. Very well played set from both competitors. Light Yo. getting revenge in that set. Scott sent him to losers. Light eliminating him from the tournament. These guys go one and one today in a really, really competitive set. Scott played amazing today, I gotta say, only losing to the players who get first and second. Now, True. the order of those two players we're not sure of quite yet. You got Dark Wizzy sitting in grand finals, winner side. Light cruising his way through losers. A couple tough matchups in there, but he's doing amazing, including the person that put him in losers, beating them as well. So guys, we got grand finals here. <laughs> Game Underground hosting, oh yeah, he's in there.
Pepe, or, uh, or, uh, Cat Jam, Cat Jam. I gotta say, man, do, do. somebody get somebody get light like a talent scout for a basketball contract because his ball handling skills like nah, 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 up smash, like beautiful. His, the pivots and stuff that he's been implementing are ridiculous. Like it, it's looking really clean and smooth and not easy to do. So, what is going on, chat? What's going